so in this video what we will look into we will look into the derivation of two important concepts one is uh, continuity equation and the other is uh, relaxation time so the continuity equation is the basis for the form for the Kirchhoff's current law so what Kirchhoff's current law says that suppose there is a conductor suppose there are there is a node and if I'm having three resistors which are connected to this uh, road node and if the current flowing through this branch is I1 and the current flowing through this is I2 and the current leaving here from here is I3 then my I1 plus I2 will be always equal to I3 uh, equal to I3 so that is what is my current which is incoming will be always equal to my current which is outgoing through any node or for even part even if you are considering a simple conductor so whatever is my current entering this conductor will be equal to my current which is leaving this conductor and the other thing is that if you are putting some some form of uh, uh, charge at the, the interior of this conductor then it will disperse itself in such such a way that the charge will be always equally distributed along the exterior of the surface so the quickness with which it can do that is can be found out by the relaxation time so to derive the continuity equation and the relaxation time it can be simply we can consider that the i out is equal to the surface integral of j dot ds that is the current density into area so j is equal to i by a so based on that you can write this and this is equal to minus d by dt of the current which is coming in or the charge which is entering in so if you are applying so if this is my first equation and if you are applying the divergence theorem to this then what you will be getting is you will be getting that surface integral of j dot ds is equal to volume integral of del into j dv this is my second equation which i am when applying the divergence theorem which i am getting and my d by dt of qin will be equal to minus d by dt and volume integral of rho v dv so why rho v dv is equal to whatever is the charge which is and which is there charge is equal to the uh, volume charge density into uh, the differential volume so this is what is my volume charge density rho v and this is a differential volume dv so when i am doing that uh, differentiation if i am doing the differentiation of this what i am getting is is equal to minus d by dt integration v rho v dv is equal to considering is equal to integration of v d by dt of rho v into dv so if this is my third equation and if I am substituting it with this equation here so what I will get is my delta j dv is equal to minus d by dt uh, rho v dv so this both integrals can be cancelled out so my del dot j is equal to 
d by dt of rho v so it can be said from this equation that del by dot j is equal to 0 and this is what is known as my continuity equation so when you are considering uh, a steady ch current so if, if current is flowing through this conductor then the charge which is accumulated inside the volume will be zero. the current will be only flowing through the surface of the conductor so in such cases the rho v by dt will be equal to zero that is del dot j is equal to zero so this is known as uh, the basis of what forms for the Kirchhoff's current law and next what and this equation in this form is known as the continuity equation and the next is the derivation of the Kirchhoff's uh, the next is the derivation of the relaxation time so what we saw so far was that we saw that del dot j is equal to zero uh, this forms the basis of Kirchhoff's law current law that is KCL and del dot j is equal to minus del rho v by or dv by dt and this is known as the continuity equation now to derive uh, the relaxation time or the time during which the charges will move from the interior or the electrons will move from the interior of a volume to the surface this is usually known as a relaxation time so the current density j is given by sigma into e this is what we have derived and if this is my second equation then it can be said from the first equation that del dot sigma e is equal to minus d by dt into rho v and again if you are applying the and if this is my third equation and if I am applying the Gauss law then based on the Gauss law I, Gauss law, I can write that del dot E is equal to rho V upon epsilon so so this is my Gauss law and when I am substituting both of this together what I will get is summation of or when I am substituting it here I will get sigma rho v that is conductivity into rho v divided by epsilon is equal to minus d by dt of rho v so if I am making this into an equation I can write sigma rho v divided by epsilon plus d by dt of rho v is equal to 0 so if I am separating the components it's possible to write it in a form like minus sigma by epsilon into dt is equal to rho v
divided by my volume d rho v divided by my volume charge density that is rho v so this is equal to zero and if I am integrating on both the sides what I will get is I will get this I will get what is like ln of rho v is equal to minus sigma t by epsilon plus ln rho v naught which is a constant and I can write it by taking it this whole thing into the exponential form I can write rho v is equal to rho v naught into e raised to minus t by divided by t r where my t r is equal to epsilon divided by the conductivity which is this part which I have taken as epsilon by sigma is equal to t and I will put it here so this is what is known as my relaxation time so what this relaxation time this which we have derived here which means that if I am putting some charge at the interior or the electrons which are at the interior will always flow to uh, move towards the uh, surfaces on the time which will which it will take after the application of the voltage of the field to do that is known as a relaxation time or also known as the rearrangement rearrangement time so this is a mathematical definition of the relaxation time and this is how it is possible to derive the relaxation time